For a really long time, individuals have imagined what life may resemble in different universes. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the most stunning telescope in existence, that question can finally be dissected. While observing the closest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, which is only four light years away, scientists have noticed some exceptional eccentricities from one of the planets in the system. Proxima b. These quirks, called fake lights, have dumbfounded the best minds in science. But what are they? Do these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life? Join us as we examine the James Webb Space Telescope's disturbing discovery of city lights that could change everything. The only life we are currently aware of is on Earth. From the very beginning of human development, people have wondered whether there is life elsewhere in the universe. To embark on such an interstellar search, American cosmologists Jill Tarter and Tom Pearson launched the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI project in 1984. The ultimate goal was to gather space-borne radio transmissions. Radio waves can travel farther and are therefore more likely to be detected by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the Allen Telescope Array in the California mountains. However, for decades, no definitive extraterrestrial transmissions were found. Following that, the James Webb Space Telescope's successful launch advanced the search by enabling the observation of previously undetectable planets orbiting distant stars. As the largest telescope in operation, located about 1 million miles from Earth and equipped with highly sensitive instruments, it has the potential to uncover monumental discoveries. A few decades ago, there were no known planets outside our solar system. Since then, more than 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered orbiting various stars. According to NASA, the universe could contain trillions of exoplanets. The earliest signs of something happening far away, beyond our solar system, might be evidence of extraterrestrial vegetation. The Galileo space probe on its way to Jupiter turned its instruments back toward Earth and detected an obvious indicator of the presence of plants, known as the Vegetation Red Edge, VRE. This biosignature, a combination of red and infrared light reflected by plants, is a strong and detectable signal. For instance, a planet like Earth, covered in wild vegetation, would emit a significant and easily measurable VRE. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will measure the VRE of distant Earth-like planets in the habitable zones around stars, which could provide significant clues about activity within the exoplanet's atmospheres. When light crosses a planet star system, the JWST can recognize it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Missing frequencies in the light spectrum can be observed through spectroscopy, as molecules and atoms in the atmosphere absorb specific wavelengths. This creates a characteristic fingerprint that the JWST can identify. This technique may be used to determine the composition of the atmosphere and whether life is possible. Life could exist on Earth-sized planets with conditions like our own, characterized by a combination of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. By searching for elements not normally present, scientists could even detect signs of intelligent life. For instance, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, used in refrigeration and cleaning products, would be likely detectable by extraterrestrial observers investigating Earth's atmosphere from a distance. If the JWST detects CFCs in the atmospheres of other planets, it could indicate the presence of life. However, life on exoplanets might not resemble life on Earth in any way. Even ordinary living organisms like extremophiles, species that can survive in conditions fatal to most life, can seem alien. This group of life forms, often microorganisms, can endure extreme environments, such as temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit or acidic conditions with pH levels below 3. Since planets like Earth are more likely to support life than those with extreme conditions, it makes sense to start with them. Prime candidates might have temperatures that allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces and orbit stable stars. Our Sun is a yellow G-type star, which is less common and has a shorter lifespan than red dwarf stars. Red dwarfs are cooler and dimmer but more numerous and have longer lifespans, allowing life and evolution to progress to complex organisms. Around 40 light-years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system will be one of the JWST's primary targets. It orbits a quiet red dwarf star and has seven Earth-sized rocky planets. 
Three of these planets, located in the habitable zone, could have liquid water on their surfaces. Despite its smaller and colder mass compared to our sun, the Trappist, one star emits light similar to Earth's sun, making it suitable for its planet's nearby orbits. The most promising opportunity to observe city lights outside our solar system lies with Proxima Centauri. A red dwarf star located 4.25 light-years from the sun Proxima is much dimmer than the sun, so a planet would need to be closer to it to support life via liquid water. In August 2016, astronomers discovered a planet with 1.3 Earth masses in this habitable zone, known as Proxima b. However, Proxima b's tidally locked nature makes it a potentially airless, dead world. Being tidally locked means one side of Proxima b always faces its star, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. This could create extreme temperature differences, potentially stripping the planet of its atmosphere. However, some scientists suggest that if Proxima b has a thick enough atmosphere or a significant magnetic field, it might retain liquid water on its surface, particularly in the twilight zone where the day and night sides meet. What makes Proxima b particularly intriguing is the observation of what scientists call artificial lights. These lights resemble the glow of city lights on Earth as seen from space. Such lights could indicate the presence of intelligent life. If an advanced civilization exists on Proxima b, they might be capable of generating artificial light, which could explain the mysterious signals detected. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped to examine these anomalies more closely. By analyzing the light spectrum of Proxima b, the telescope can differentiate between natural phenomena, like auroras or volcanic activity, and artificial sources of light. If these lights are indeed artificial, it would suggest the presence of a technologically advanced civilization. The discovery of such lights could fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe. It would raise profound questions about the nature of intelligent life, its prevalence in the cosmos, and how it evolves. Additionally, it might provide insight into the challenges such civilizations face, including sustainability and survival over long timescales. While the possibility of finding intelligent life on Proxima b is exciting, scientists remain cautious. False positives, such as unusual natural processes, could mimic artificial light signals. Comprehensive analysis and repeated observations are required to confirm the findings. The search for extraterrestrial life extends beyond Proxima Centauri. The James Webb Space Telescope is also examining other exoplanets in the habitable zones of their stars, searching for biosignatures and technosignatures. Biosignatures are chemical markers that suggest the presence of life, while technosignatures indicate technological activity, such as artificial lights or radio transmissions. If evidence of intelligent life is found, humanity will face unprecedented challenges and opportunities. Questions about communication, cultural exchange, and the ethical implications of interacting with another civilization will take center stage. Furthermore, it would inspire humanity to re-evaluate its place in the universe and its responsibilities as a potentially interconnected species. For now, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to push the boundaries of human knowledge. Whether it uncovers evidence of extraterrestrial life or not, its discoveries are reshaping our understanding of the cosmos and our potential role within it. The search for life beyond Earth is not just about finding others. It is a journey of discovery that reminds us how extraordinary and rare our existence might be. Proxima b is an intriguing planet. Since it circles its small red star just 4.6 million miles away, this proximity exposes it to intense solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere. However, Proxima b receives sufficient light for temperatures and liquid water, similar to those on Earth, due to its closeness to the star. Proxima b is believed to be tidally locked, meaning it always shows the same side to its star, much like how the moon does relative to Earth. Proxima Centauri, the star, has about 18% the mass of the sun and emits far less light. For a planet so close to the star, Proxima Centauri provides only about 5% of the sun's power. This might make the planet seem like a barren, desolate world. Still, liquid water could exist on Proxima b, assuming the planet has an atmosphere to trap heat. The total energy reaching it is only 65% of what Earth receives. The planet is not particularly hospitable for life. 
It is likely tidally locked, creating a permanently hot side and a frigid dark side with extreme temperature variations. Additionally, Proxima B receives four times as much high-energy radiation as Earth, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, due to its proximity to Proxima Centauri. Star flares also bombard the planet with high-energy particles. Without a protective magnetic field like Earth's, conditions may not be favorable for life. Despite these harsh conditions, Proxima B could still be a habitable world. Unfortunately, models suggest that the atmospheres of tidally locked planets might degrade quickly due to the freezing out of volatile gases on the night side. A planet's atmosphere can be replenished by volcanic activity, and strong magnetic fields can prevent atmospheric escape. However, since we know little about Proxima B's volcanic activity or magnetic field strength, it's difficult to determine if the planet has an atmosphere. An atmosphere would indicate the potential for life, and scientists are eager to learn if Proxima B has one. It could theoretically have solar panels covering its day side to generate power for lighting and heating the night side, which would otherwise be too cold and dark for habitation. The discovery of Proxima B has triggered a race to determine if it transits its star's face as seen from Earth. Such transits would allow scientists to calculate the planet's size, mass, and density, confirming its rocky composition. During a transit, starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere could reveal its composition. However, the chance of the planet's orbit being perfectly aligned for observation is only 1.5%. The star's tendency to flare further complicates matters. Astronomer David Kipping of Columbia University notes that Proxima Centauri is unstable. Stellar heat causes rocky planets to absorb light and re-emit it as infrared radiation. Rocky planets produce a distinct type of infrared radiation, detectable by instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. The JWST, specifically designed to observe infrared light, might detect Proxima B's atmospheric infrared signature. Proxima B's day side could be heavily covered with solar panels reflecting starlight. As a tidally locked planet, its day and night sides are drastically different, with extreme temperature contrasts. The temperature difference depends on whether the planet is entirely composed of bare rock or if atmospheric and water circulation distribute heat. Without an atmosphere, Proxima B's day side would emit all the energy it receives as a blackbody, while the night side would remain a frozen wasteland. If the temperature contrast is less pronounced, scientists could infer the presence of an atmosphere. Future space exploration and the search for life beyond Earth hold great promise. The James Webb Space Telescope could be pivotal in finding extraterrestrial life. As the JWST searches for exoplanets, it will deepen our understanding of distant worlds and our own. The search for extraterrestrial life has advanced significantly with the capabilities of the JWST. While we are just beginning to explore distant star systems, discoveries like Proxima B offer tantalizing glimpses of what might exist out there. As we continue to study exoplanets like Proxima B and those in the TRAPPIST-1 system, the possibility of detecting life, or at least signs that life once existed, grows. Even if these planets don't currently harbor life, studying them will help us understand the conditions necessary for life to thrive. Every new discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of how life might arise in the universe. Scientists are looking for biosignatures such as the vegetation red edge or atmospheric components like CFCs. They are also examining more subtle signs. Artificial lights, for instance, may not be the only indicator of intelligent life. Variations in a planet's radiation or unusual patterns in its magnetic field could also signal something beyond a native ecosystem. The JWST's ability to detect and study these anomalies will provide a wealth of data about the potential for life beyond our solar system. The question of whether intelligent life exists somewhere in the universe remains one of humanity's greatest inquiries. Discovering something as complex as city lights on a distant planet would be a game-changer in the search for extraterrestrial civilizations. Such evidence, whether direct or indirect, would challenge our understanding of life's uniqueness on Earth and the potential for other civilizations to have arisen in distant parts of the universe. Looking ahead, the JWST's role in uncovering the secrets of distant planets is invaluable. Its unparalleled precision and sensitivity might soon reveal something extraordinary, 
confirming the presence of life elsewhere. As scientists continue to monitor planets like Proxima b and explore their habitability, we are on the brink of potentially rewriting the story of life in the universe. The era of space exploration and extraterrestrial discovery has just begun, and the JWST is at the forefront, guiding humanity toward new frontiers of knowledge. Ultimately, whether we find artificial lights, biosignatures, or other signs of life, this search enriches our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The mission to find life beyond Earth is not just about discovering others. It's about learning more about ourselves and the incredible complexity of the cosmos. Through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, we may soon answer one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we truly alone in the universe?